Hey, Claude Pallon here, Affiliate Starting Line. Welcome. This is the continuation of the SEO Must Beginner Guide to SEO video series. We're in Chapter 10. This is Part 2. First part of the uh, Part 1 of the Chapter 10 review uh, covered the recommended metrics, talked about direct referral and search traffic, uh, told you how to compare performance versus market share, but visibility, potential drops, what you do when uh, when certain things happen in, uh, in uh, search engines, conversion rate by query terms. We covered all this in the first part, so you can review that. We talked about the not provided. And then in the second part here, they give you um, some samplers of the kind of analytical tools you can, you can look at. Uh, and they give you about three, seven, 13 of them right here alone. Um, I use Google Analytics. I haven't used web, uh, Yahoo Web Analytics very much. I've also used AW Stats. <clears throat> I looked at Woopra when they were first coming out, but I haven't used them. So th all of these are all different types of analytical tools. If you're just starting out, Google Analytics is free. You should learn how to use it anyway. And there's a ton of stuff you can get at AW Stats you'll find in the back office of, of your uh, web hoster. Um, there's an article here that they link to they, that they tell you to read so that you can figure out what tool might be useful for you. They also link to Google's website optimizer. Uh, the website optimizer, as you can see here, there is, it is. It's now been integrated into Google Analytics. So um, if you're going to want to set up Google Analytics, and then you'll get the features of uh, the website optimizer integrated into that. There's no separate product there now. Uh, metrics for measuring search engine optimization. So, you know, it says that uh, it can be difficult to track specific elements of these algorithms. Uh, this data, the, 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 a lot of the data and how they work uh, is proprietary. Uh, you, they talk about best practices, data points. Um, but then they come here and suggest that uh, not only do you have Google Webmaster Tools and Yahoo Site Explorer to use and the Microsoft Webmaster Tools, but there's certain uh, commands you can use in different search engines. So in, in the Google search engine, you can use the site command colon and then the name of, your, of the website and it'll give you uh, a look at all of the pages that have been indexed in that site. They recommend Google Trends, Google Trends for Websites and Google Insights. So these are tools that uh, this is Google Insights for search. You type in uh, a term here, whatever you're trying to research. Um, you can set your parameters to search the whole web or products only or news or image. Uh, I usually go for products. You wanna go worldwide, you can narrow it down to a market, the United States. You can set their time frame. Let's see what happened in the last 12 months across all set categories and you search. And what it'll do is it'll come back, in this case, it, it gives me all the data regarding the United States for dog training by regional interest. Um, it'll give me some top search terms that are related to that keyword and the, the data for it. So that's one tool you can use. And I have a video that explains how to use Google Insights for search. Google Trends. Uh, Google Trends does the same thing. Now, in this case, I didn't, uh, I didn't filter uh, by the, let's go by the United States and let's do it in the last 12 months. So here you're gonna get some trend lines. Uh, you'll get some relationship to what is happening in the news. So you'll, it, it'll give you a up-to-date look at uh, the relevance of this. And then it'll give you a breakdown here by state and by city. Uh, and you can really, you can actually drill down even more if you want to uh, with these filters. But the Google Trends, I also did a web, uh, web series about that. Google tr uh, Websites, uh, Trends for Websites. This is only good for websites that are really active, large, and really indexed very well. Uh, and if your website is new, et cetera, you're not gonna show any data here. Um, Bing, they also mentioned go, you can go to, to, to Bing and, and um, sign up and get the, into the Bing uh, back office tools, the webmaster and their, their Microsoft advertising intelligence. So these are some of the uh, services they recommend for you to um, use to 
So here Bing, you can use the same site command for Bing to see what's indexed and then there you can do an IP query that we just looked briefly at the advertising platform. Uh, ask, same thing, you can use the site command with, uh, and, and, and these site commands can get more sophisticated. You can, you can uh, drill down and, and uh, search by, by page for a website or by blog. Here they actually show you uh, another command, the link command. Um, and it shows you uh, information about links going to the, to the URL that you're interested in. Uh, and then it'll give you a big breakdown here of the SEO Moz products. On the left hand side, they, they give you the SEO Moz products for pages. So you can measure page authority, you can make page rank, let's call it Moz rank, you can measure, measure the page trust. And you, may, you mentioned the number of links on the page, of linking root domains to that page, external links coming out of that page. And then you can do the same thing at the domain level. Domain authority, domain Moz rank, domain trust, domain total links going into the domain, number of linking root domains. These are all products that SEO Moz offers. And uh, you, you can, you know, it's a subscription service, but it's dynamite, top-notch data. And it's uh, as reliable as anything you're gonna get from Google. Applying your data to your command. So then they, you know, they say, what do you do with all this stuff? And then they'll sit here and give you some scenarios <clears throat> of uh, what you might do if, uh, for example, search traffic from a single engine falls, but the search traffic from the other engine stays, and then they'll recommend maybe you've been penalized, and here's a, by, usually you'll see a fall in traffic from Google in relation to Yahoo Bing, and then they give you some options here of what you may have done uh, to uh, create that falling traffic. Now, if they fall across all three search engines, you might have a robot.txt problem. That is, you have blocked the search engines from indexing at all. If it's just falling from one search engine in relation to the others, then you may have a penalty situation. Uh, search traffic from multiple search engines, it, that's what exactly what it meant. Individual f fluctuations, it, it brings that uh, back to what I just said. Um, you're going to see all sorts of fluctuations and gains and losses uh, over time. That's why you want to keep track of your data. There is a thing, there was a thing, it still is, uh, the Google Dance. If you've got a brand new site, not, not a lot of trust, not a lot of authority, you're going to appear in the rankings. If you appear uh, high up in the rankings quickly, expect to get bounced around. It, it might take three or five, six months before things stabilize. And you reappear. I had a, pay, a, a, a website appear on page one after about eight weeks. It stayed there. I was making a nice sales. Then it disappeared, completely vanished. Broad, exact, everything. And then 30 days later, it reappeared and back on page one. It stayed there for about a year and then it disappeared in broad, but it's still there in exact. So that's, you know, the name of the game. Uh, positive increases in link metrics without ranking increases. That simply means that you're, get, you're getting good data, but you may not see yourself moving up through the results as quickly as you, as, as you would like. It takes time. I mean, what they're basically saying here is give yourself, uh, you know, some months worth of, of, of work at it before you really get a consistent uh, ranking and a consistent position. And until uh, you have put in some time and built some authority and built some trust and built some links, uh, you're going to, you, you know, you're going to pop around. And so that's really the gist of, of, of uh, there's a lot of stuff here in, in chapter 10, but that you really have to take yourself through through it uh, individually and play with each one of these concepts and each one of these tools. Um, but it's a very good repository and suggestion list of here of things to do and, and tools you can use. So that's the it for chapter 10 and the SEO Moz Beginner's Guide to SEO. This is a great, great document for anybody just starting out, it's a must. Even for people who have been around, I always read it and I always learn and pick up something new. You always, you know, I don't think you ever know enough of, of, uh, of SEO anyway. So it's, an, it's a nice refresher course for some of you and it's, it's a perfect place to start for others. And that's it. I hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Plano Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.